Hey, this is David, your high voltage friend, and I am going to try to persuade you to get a frame bag for your electric bike. I have been an advocate of these things tirelessly for like two years. After trying to build my own uh, battery boxes and battery containing devices, and you know, playing with these uh, dorky little rear racks here, um, which really uh, put the battery weight in the worst possible place on your bike, <laughs> uh, and also uh, shake. You know, uh, the battery is loose in there. Um, they clunk. They do all sorts of things you really don't want in a, uh, you know, a setup that's supposed to be like a bike. And, yeah, so I've pretty much abandoned that. This is just on here because this is my, my girlfriend's bike. And um, normally we would have a thing here, but this would be for actually carrying stuff. And I will get to that once we get into spring. But I have been running a frame bag for well over two years, and I've just loved it. I mean, this literally does everything I want. Uh, this frame, you can see that this frame is a extra large frame, so the bag doesn't really fit it all that great. <laughs> One thing I did in the past is I stuck my controller right here to sort of uh, shore up the gap, and, and that looked okay. It's just that I wanted this bike to be um, stealthy, you know, and, and no wires hanging out of it really to be seen. So, um, my controller is in the bag, and here are my lipos, uh, and the nasty noodle mess of wiring. Really, uh, these things just uh, go on, on practically every bike. Um, effectively, what you do is you just adjust the Velcro straps to, to your bike, and stick it on. And you could fit quite a lot of battery in these things. I've actually uh, fit. There's eight lipo packs here. I've I've fit about 16 into here. I mean, 40 amp hours of battery at 36 volts. Do you really do you really need more than that? Uh, you, your butt's probably going to tire out before your battery does. So yeah, it's it's completely adequate unless you have some crazy 40 mile per hour setup. And what we have here is the EM3 EV bag from EM3EV.com. Um, the seller is formerly known as Cellman. He's one of my favorite vendors. This one is the original from Falcon EV, which is not one of my favorite vendors and is very flaky uh, with his customers, so I can't honestly recommend him anymore. Um, this, uh, if you were to ship this or this, the price would be almost identical. This comes from China. The, the price is a little bit lower, but the shipping is higher and, and sort of vice versa with this. This is marked up more. So they're just about the same. Um, you'll see it just sort of has some nice zippers here. And the reason this is uh, great over a regular bag is because A, it's made out of a tough material. This is designed to carry a lot of weight. B, there's padding here, can you see? And it's rather thick. It's also padding here. And there's some down here. So you really, um, there's not much of a need to add additional padding to this. Uh, it's also got a wire entrance here, so you can stick your, uh, if you want to stick your controller in here, your th run your throttle wires, whatever. Um, you can send it through this little gap here and then back out here, or do whatever you want. It's up to you. Um, and this is designed to fit the contour of most bikes. Um, and if it, if it doesn't really necessarily fit the contour, it can be sort of smushed down. It's designed for, I believe, a 19 inch, or, and it will also fit in about a 17 inch frame. This is a, I think it's a 21.5, yeah, so that's, you know, it's a little bit excessively sized. Um, this is the EM3 EV bag. Uh, I like this bag more, and I'll, I'll show you why. Boom. Internal battery straps. 
check that out. So it's going to swing side to side a little bit less. And then also, um, this is a Velcroable surface right here, and a little roll of uh, Velcro tape. So you can uh, easily mount a variety of things in here, and the padding is uh, a little more, a little more plush. Not as thick, but a little more plush. Um, so maybe that's a little bit of a downside, uh, although you could add some. Um, the straps on this bag are in a better location, and there's less of them top where you usually have your um, your brake cables and throttle, or not throttle, well, you might have your throttle, um, and also your shifter cables. So that's important. And it has two here, three there, just the same. The big improvement is these. You'll notice this will let some water in and you don't want that. Um, this has a little a little flap right there. So that will hopefully prevent a little more water from coming in and it's also cut open a little more so it's easier to jam you know big phase wires or whatever through. Um, so that's an improvement. Also this right over here I mean, if you think about how water moves, it'll just kind of do this. Just kind of go down this way. Uh, this will enter the wires in from the side. So you can form a drip loop and, and not have to worry so much about water ever entering the bag. Well, these bags, this one is a little squished, but the size is roughly equivalent. I mean, this one does look smaller. It might be a hair smaller, but this should carry just about the same amount of battery. And so, there's the Falcon EV and the EM3 EV bag. And, uh, yeah, again, these are just great. You can stick them on pretty much any bike and not have to worry about bolting on a rear rack, not have to worry about making a battery container. I tried to use that. and you know, some kind of mounting system that uh, <laughs> supports this because uh, if you're going to have a battery pack you need to support it in the triangle at the top, bottom, and side. So you're going to have to make mounts at, at odd angles to support something here or else, you know, this already does it for you and once you have this uh, strapped in tight enough there's really no side-to-side -side sway on the on the battery at least um, I don't notice any so um, and it really provides a, a neutral weight and it's not as heavy as if you make your own um, battery box or whatever I mean this is you know maybe half a pound <laughs> maybe maybe pound uh, whatever you put together that's going to fit in here is going to weigh a lot more so that's my tip for the day um hope you consider going with the frame bag uh if you know if you go with a a custom thing and, and you could do it in a good manner by all means go for it i don't have the fabrication skills myself though i, I spent about six months trying to <laughs> trying to put something together and failed so this is my approach and um yeah talk to paul over at em3v uh he's a great guy he's got good prices on things and um, if you go with the Sal shipping, uh, it will come probably in a couple weeks. It'll take a while, but it'll save you some money. And this might come out cheaper than that. So there's your tip from your high voltage bank <laughs> later.